Next is Mariam Namazi, who read us the manifesto and ask people to vote. Welcome, Mariam. Okay, hello everyone again. Um, this time I'm not going to cry like a baby. Sorry. <laughs> um, we wanted to publish a manifesto for secularism out of this conference as a way of showing people uh, the way forward. Uh, you've, you've all seen the manifesto. It's all in your uh, guidebooks. I'm not sure if I need to read it. I just want to go over a couple of points that were raised. Uh, one is the fact that this is about fighting the religious right. It's not about fighting a religious revival, that these are far-right, fascistic political movements that we need to fight back. And the consequences of neoconservatism, neoliberalism, communalism, cultural relativism have all aided and abetted and created a climate in which these groups, groups such as ISIS, have been able to rise. We've given examples of these groups in the manifesto. Some might say that ISIS is incomparable incompar with any other group. Some will say that even Al-Qaeda seems moderate compared to ISIS. What we're trying to say, though, is that fundamentally, given the fact that there are differences in every phenomenon, differences in, in degree, that fundamentally, all these groups belong to the extreme right, and we should recognize them as such. What we're also saying in this manifesto is that we have to recognize the huge amounts of resistance that have been taking place against this religious right, and in defense of so many of the values that have been abandoned for so very long. It is us that has held this banner up high. So what we're doing is we're calling on people everywhere, from this room to the world, to join us in an international front for secularism. As we mentioned earlier, the Islamists, the religious right, are an international movement, so are we. They are strong, we are stronger. So we have come up with five points. The first is not more important than the fifth. These are five points that we can all, as secularists, religious or not, anti-religion or not, agree on and that is the complete separation of religion from the state. And with secularism as a fundamental right, we have groups like Human Rights Watch telling us that it is not internationally recognized right. We don't care. It is our demand and a right for all of us. We're saying that we want religion separated from public policy, from education, from healthcare, from scientific research, and these are just examples. We're saying that we want the abolition of religious laws in the family, civil, and criminal codes. That includes apostasy and blasphemy laws. And we're, asking, we're demanding for an end to discrimination against and persecution of LGBT, religious minorities, free thinkers, women, ex-Muslims, and others. We're, seeing, we're, we're asking for and demanding for the freedom of religion and atheism and freedom to criticize religion and that belief is seen as a private affair, and we're demanding the equality between women and men and citizenship rights for all. I ask you now to show your support of this manifesto by clapping. friends and comrades. Oh my God, I'm going to get emotionally. <laughs> this has been a very inspirational and a really proud moment in my life. And um, I think I can honestly say that it's, this is a conference of heroes. Um, and it's a conference of activists speaking about so many issues that are matters of life and death for so many people across the world. 
uh, as we've all heard, the threats are very real. The threats are very real. And not just for people living in the Middle East or North Africa or, uh, or, or South Asia, but also for, for many people living here in the West. The threats are real, but the resistance is real too. And oftentimes I think the, resist the threats are so real because the resistance is there. And our resistance is such a threat to the religious right that they have, they, they have to use violence and murder and mayhem in order to impose their rule. I think what we've shown at this conference today is that despite the threats, we are strong and we are many. And that while we might have disagreements which we discussed at the conference, we agree on some very fundamental things. And that is that for us, humanity has to be at the center. For us, citizenship is important, irrespective of people's beliefs. And for us, universalism means something. They're not Western values, they are values for all of us. And for us, secularism is important, the complete separation, not the wishy-washy British version of secularism. <laughs> Not, but secularism, laïcité, the complete separation of religion from the state means something. It is important. It is not the end of everything. I'm a socialist. It's not the end of everything, but it is a precondition, and it is urgent, and it's important. This banner might have been abandoned by many, but it has been fought for tooth and nail, day in and day out, over decades by many of you and many across the world. This is a fight that will continue. We will move onwards towards an international front. We are strong today. We will be stronger tomorrow. Thank you again for coming. I love you. Thank you for, uh, thank you to Maha, where is Maha? She's sitting around there, she is.